I think you guys know who this is, right? Give me a welcome to the first place, bro. I appreciate it. It's good to be here. It's like a lot of people in here. Yeah, that's, that's a few, right? I think they knew who this Well, uh, it's good to be here in Phoenix. Uh, they've been practicing and qualifying and whatnot. We had a practice session this morning and it went pretty good. Me and Mark were both up toward the uh, top 10. We got another practice session in about 40 minutes and we get our last uh, few adjustments in there and see if we can help the car. And then uh, we'll watch, watch Brad Keselowski drive the Navy car the rest of the day and hopefully have a good finish there. I know uh, you probably won't disappoint with block line, but when you got into the car this morning, fifth quickest, so obviously you got a good race car. Yeah, we always run pretty good here. It's been a good track for him. We've got a couple minutes here. And I sure do miss uh, Tony Jr.'s input on the radio and in the car itself, but Tony Gibbs is doing a good job at uh, working on the car and making it better. But this has been a good track for me. I do enjoy running here, and uh, all these fans seem to really like us coming out here. So. It's pretty cool. We get, we get, once we go west of the Mississippi, we get kind of mixed results, but we always have great crowds here in Texas and other places. Well, Junior, any special thoughts about uh, the end of an era coming, so to speak? Uh, only a couple more races wearing this uniform. Yeah, I'm looking forward to next year, but I'm also at the same time. Uh, I really do enjoy the guys that I'm working with. A lot of them I've worked with for a really long time. And I'm going to miss those friendships and relationships that I've got now. I'm going to miss the relationship with Globalizer that I've had over nine years. That's a long time to be with one sponsor. And you build a really, really tight relationship, and you, you, you've got friends that you want to work with forever, and we're not going to have that opportunity. But next year is going to be great. We've got a great opportunity with Rick and his whole organization. We've got great race cars. they got great cars and, and uh, a lot of great mechanics and a lot of star guys over there that are making those cars work and turn and do everything they need to do to run good. And hopefully I'll just fit right in the seat and get right to running good from the, from the get go. Well, Junior, we've got a limited amount of time. I think we've got microphones out here. If somebody's got a question, throw your hand up. The microphone will get to you. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, let him answer a couple questions before he has to go to practice. Right here, yes. Shout it out. Sure. All right. So he's got a lot of question, but oh, okay. I appreciate it. Nice job. All right, Mr. Yes, How do you think you're going to do next year with the 88 car? You touched on that. Uh, yeah. More. I um, I think it's going to be pretty good. We went and tested in Atlanta. That went pretty good. Uh, I was pretty happy with the way the car was working and how the car drove. There's a huge difference in it. Like when you sit inside the Hinder car, how everything's mounted and built and just everything's really, really nice and they just do a great job putting those cars together. And, uh, you know, Tony Jr.'s been over there for a couple of months now and that's really going to help me. He's already learned a lot and learning more and more about how those cars work and he's going to bring a lot, you know, we, we've learned a lot from, from Hendrick's organization because, you know, they run good. So there's a lot for us to learn that they're doing that we've never done before. But at the same time, we're showing them things, Tony Jr's telling them guys things that they've never heard of that are helping them. And, and, and so to put the two together is going to be really cool. But I think we're going to have a good season. I, I think we'll start, I think we'll, uh, we'll start right out of the gate. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect anything less than to be challenging for wins for the start of the season. And there's going to be really no jelly point and really no excuses because of Tony Jr. and Ryan's relationship. Uh, having him and me together, we'll go right in there and get right to work, so it should be fine. All right, now, lady, you have a question right here? That's not a question we can answer. Yes? You got a question? What would your dad say about your switching teams? Well, it would be interesting to really get his take on it. I would, uh, I'll tell you, I mean, I think everybody here pretty much knows that if he was here, this would have never happened. Uh, If my dad was alive, I would always want to drive for him and do whatever he needed me to do and wanted to do. But, uh, I would. I think that he would be really proud of uh, what I've been able to accomplish and what I've been able to do. I think he would be. I think he'd be pretty happy with what I've built, my Bush team, and, and the organization I have there. I think he would be happy with the 
with the ability that I have to go get a ride like Rick's and uh, the, the way that we handled it. Uh, we, we tried to be really professional and what, what me and my camp like to say, we tried to keep the wheels alive the whole time. All the relationships with Budweiser and with my team that I have now, we tried to do it professionally and, and everybody stay positive. And, uh, I think that that's really important. He would be pretty happy with that. I think that he liked Rick. He had a lot of, uh, he, him and Rick worked together. He actually won uh, Rick's first race. When Rick entered the sport, he entered it as an owner in the Blue Series, and my dad drove uh, his car and won Rick's first race. They've got a great, they had a great relationship, and I think the dad would be pretty uh, comfortable with me going to work with a guy like Rick. But, uh, you know, just, it's, I got a great opportunity. Rick's an amazing person, and he's going to take great care of me and my friends, and, and hopefully uh, we're going to have a lot of success. He's had a lot of success, and I see why we shouldn't be a part of that. All right, time for one more question. We're here, yes. Yeah. <laughs> How's the motor program? <laughs> Here's a question. I think that, uh, you know, they do a great job over there. They've always been, you know, when you talk about engines and power, uh, as long as I've been driving in this sport, uh, Hendrick is always on the tips of everybody's tongue when you're talking about how you got to compete, what we need to do to get better. You always compare yourself to a team like that. So I feel like they always have great power and they've always had great dependability. And uh, hopefully they'll maintain that. You know, it's really important that just because we're going to be, uh, just because I'm coming to work and coming to drive, or just because we get this guy or get that guy, we can't rest on our walls. We got to keep working hard. And the painting shop, the fabrication shop, you got to keep pushing and motivating them people to find more and find more and find more. Uh, so we keep building power and keep gaining power. That's really, really important. That's the most important thing in the sport. Is you can't, you always got to keep trying to gain more and gain more, even if you're on top. Do your best to walk out here. Let's keep that straight. Come on, come on. See you guys.